I'm Greg Garbus of Four Season Tools. We're here at David's Folly Farm in Brooksville, Maine. It's a gorgeous location right on the coast, and we're going to show you around. This is a four season vegetable farm that is grown all naturally. They also have pigs and chickens and a small orchard of perennials. As far as the vegetable production is concerned, there are two different uh, greenhouses or high tunnels. We like using the term high tunnel as opposed to greenhouse, uh, hoop house, or cold frame to differentiate the double covering. The layering of the plastic with the low tunnels inside the high tunnels really how to maximize season extension in an unheated structure. So their greenhouse is back up there. It's a heated small little transplant house. We'll go check it out. And this is the two position uh, 22 by 48 custom greenhouse. So come on in. So we, it's uh, beginning of November out here in Maine and we're getting ready for the winter season. So all of these crops have been planted and growing for some time and they're inside the low tunnels. So just yesterday we moved uh, the high tunnel from the plot behind us which had tomatoes and now it's over all these crops. These crops are grown in the winter and then they'll basically be extending, uh, grown in the fall and extending the crop uh, into the winter. Things like spinach, even though we're way up in Maine in an unheated structure, can actually be grown uh, year round very successfully up here. So there's several different crops inside these beds. As I mentioned, it's a 22 foot wide structure and 48 feet long. This has custom end walls that allow a lot of ventilation. So the center vent is a huge butterfly vent that pivots and that allows uh, to very quickly get a lot of uh, a lot of hot air outside out of the structure. It also has roll up sidewalls so it can get sidewall ventilation if it needs it as well. On the top of the high tunnel, we'll notice there's several things hanging from the structure. There's this cable that has all of these white called roller hooks. It's a trellising system from Holland that really allows you to take advantage of the vertical space inside of this structure. So the sidewall height is designed in such a way where the height of the, the sidewalls allows for an eight foot vertical trellis height in the outer planting bed. So that you're not only maximizing the land that you have inside the structure, you're also maximizing the vertical growing opportunities as well. You also see that there's an overhead irrigation system. These little sprinklers allow, uh, allow overhead irrigation. You're going to do that for anything that's direct seeded. Uh, and when they had tomatoes, they also use drip irrigation for the tomatoes. There are two zones in the irrigation system, allowing them to water either half of the tunnel at any given moment. So if we can come over here, I can show you some more specifics about the uh, end wall design. This is uh, the big butterfly vent. It can be pivoted in either direction and uh, is tied with a rope and some rope cleats and allows really easy uh, ventilation. This is a roll up end wall. So the bottom of this end wall has a roll bar. So you can also roll up the, roll up the end wall. So one of the things that works great in really uh, northern climates is the ability to have a lot of end wall ventilation. They also like the sidewall ventilation. They don't use it that often, but they like it because if they need to, when it's really hot inside the structure, they can open both sidewalls and very quickly get the temperature of the structure down. Uh, all of the legs here have retractable studs. So when this is moved, the door comes off, all the legs uh, are basically removed or can retract, and that allows the clearance. So even though when we move the structure, the low tunnels were already here, we were very easily able to move the, uh, the building over the low tunnels because of the end wall design. You'll notice this plot right here, as I mentioned yesterday, the high tunnel was over here. It took us about an hour and a half to unanchor the high tunnel, and then we were able to move it in just a couple minutes with just two people. Um, so this was the original uh, tomato plot. You can see all the tomatoes that are here. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the infrastructure uh, that's out here at this property. Uh, behind me, there are two frost-free hydrants over here, and then the plot to my right, there's another frost-free hydrant, allowing them to have water uh, year-round. The frost free hydro basically drains the water back under the frost line so that none of the water stays in the pipes and anything bursts. There's about three quarters of an acre of vegetable production going on. As I mentioned, it's the beginning of November. There's still a lot of crops that they have out here. And then underneath the, uh, these low tunnels, they're also having uh, different types of simple season extension uh, out in the fields. The V-Track itself is uh, it's a two position V-Track. The track is anchored to the ground and the tunnel is anchored to the track. So it allows uh, what we call an integrated moving and anchoring system. And it works out really, really well. Um, you have all the effort up front to basically anchor the track down. But then once the track is anchored, you're, you're good to go. You move the building and then there's already anchor points in the next location. And then you just strap it right back down again. So now we're going to go inside this plant house. 
Uh, my guess is it's about a, uh, I don't know, a 16 foot by 12 foot structure or thereabouts. Um, this, uh, when the farm, farmers that came here moved into the property, uh, they already had this. They did reskin it and uh, beefen it up a little bit, but it's worked out great for them. Um, also over here, before we go into the greenhouse, I'll point out this is the outdoor washing area. Just a little lean-to with several different large troughs and buckets, uh, and it's a great place for them when it's warm outside to process the vegetables right next to where they're being grown. As I mentioned, this is a heated greenhouse. They're not gonna, well, since there's nothing in it right now, it doesn't need to be heated right at this moment, but uh, they'll definitely have it going, you know, about six to eight weeks before they're, um, they're gonna move any of the vegetables out into the fields. So for tomatoes, for example, they'll start their tomatoes six, uh, six weeks earlier inside of soil blocks. So these are some of the blockers that they use. They have three different sizes of soil blockers, and this allows them to, instead of using trays, to start all their transplants inside of soil blocks. Then they have a bunch of scrap polycarbonate. You can see this, these huge stacks up here. And these little trays have been designed in such a way where they can fit exactly three soil blockers. It's a really convenient way to move the transplants around while you're growing them. They've got several different benches in here. They have them at different heights to be able to try to get as much uh, light exposure into the plants as possible. But it's really a beautiful place. These farmers are doing an excellent job. And I'm happy I had the opportunity to show you around.